So this is what should happen. Listen to me. This is what should happen. Number one, we have the Holy Spirit. Are we together? Yes. Then we have your spirit. Your human spirit. Huh? Yes. Then we have the soul. Right? Then we have the body. Right? So what should happen to someone who's born again is that the Holy Spirit becomes one with your spirit. Because your spirit came from God. Came from the spirit. It's part of the spirit. It's just like I take water from this cup and I mix it in another cup. Will you be able to tell this water came from there and that one came from there? You won't be able to tell because it becomes one. The same thing, when you are born again, you become one with the spirit of God. So what should happen now is that whatever God wants to reveal to you, right? It's happening in the, through your spirit by the connection of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. But now your soul must be invited to witness the encounter and the activities Amen. that are taking place in the spirit. Amen. Are we together? Yes, so if your soul is in, if, 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 if your soul is invited in this dimension, that's when the soul will begin to see whatever activities that are going on in the realm of the spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Now it is from this dimension now the problem where we experience the problem. We expre experience the problem the time when, this, when you wake up, when the body is up. Mm. Now the soul wants to transfer information to the five senses. Mm. Now the five senses cannot understand the things of the spirit mm. because they are spiritually discerned. Mm. So on the hand over take over moment, mm. that's where information is distorted. Mm. That's where information is lost. Mm. And the reason why information is lost in most cases is because you are not working with your soul. Mm. So for you to have a quality dream when it comes to dream production, the greatest task is not the body. The greatest task is neither your spirit. The greatest assignment is not even the Holy Spirit, but the greatest work is your soul. Amen. Why the soul? Because we have the spirit and we have the body. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. So the soul, do you see where the soul is located? Yeah. The soul is an interface. Yes. The soul is what I call the, the betweener, yeah. <laughs> if there's such a grammar. Hallelujah. Yeah. Between the spirit yes. and the body. Yes. The body is just an executor mm. of instructions from the soul. Mm. Hallelujah. Yeah. So what should happen is this, you are supposed to receive information from the spirit. Yeah. So I, I, I gave an example and I say the spirit, yeah. the spirit, your spirit, yes. is like a manager. <laughs> right? Yes. <laughs> your soul is like a supervisor. Yeah. Then your body is like a worker. Yeah. So information should come from the manager yes. to the supervisor. Yes. Supervisor to the worker, and the worker who execute. Yes. Now, the problem that happens is that instead of the soul, the supervisor, to spend more time with the manager to understand the vision, yes. the supervisor ignores the manager and spends time with the worker. Wow. So now, if the manager is sending an instruction, the instruction is not arriving to the worker yes. because the supervisor is not in touch with the manager. Yes. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. So your soul should be connected to the spirit always yes. so that it receives information, dreams from the spirit. Then the soul will put that instruction to the body and the body will execute. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So what I want you to understand is that this is the greatest, greatest assignment that you need to do Amen. when it comes to dream. Hallelujah. Amen. Don't worry, we are also going to have part two and uh, I want you to be connected. So I'm just going to give you uh, just a few things before we close. So I want you to pay attention as we are about to round off. Yes. Listen to this carefully now. Yes. In, when it comes to dream production, Yes. What is a soul? A soul is full of emotions. Mm. It's full of emotions. Mm. Let's say, for example, there are many emotions, yes. right? Yes. Now listen to me. Those emotions, 
Uh-huh. Whenever your soul releases an emotion yes. in the spirit, uh-huh. it's a deposit uh-huh. that has been deposited in the realm of the spirit. Amen. I wish someone can get what I'm saying here. Uh-huh. So every time something happens to you, an experience takes place in your life. Yes. Your soul releases some emotions. Yes. And those emotions are a discharge into the realm of the spirit. Amen. And as they are deposited into the realm of the spirit, they are not just lost in the realm of the spirit. Amen. They are living yes. in the realm of the spirit. Yes. They are like children, they are like babies that have been released in the realm of the spirit, that have been given birth to by your soul. Amen. So, before you were born again, you released a lot of emotions through your experiences. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Now, the purpose of you being born again is that when you are born again, you need the Holy Spirit to help you to go into the realm of the Spirit yeah. and correct the emotions. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. And correct the emotions that you don't need. I wish I was speaking to somebody. That's why you are having a good dream. And all of a sudden, you see yourself, you started crying in that dream. Why? Because you visited a territory where you discharged a dream of sorrow, an emotion of sorrow. So by the time you are coming from the realm of the spirit, your dream is contaminated, is carrying an emotion that you gave birth to many years ago. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. Some of you were there when I gave a prophetic word to someone. In, in, in church and I was talking about having dreams where you're just seeing water around you yeah. you are just seeing water around you no matter where you are your dreams even physically water follows you yeah. and as I was speaking to that person the person said what happened you remember what the person said said when she was young what happened said she was working with a friend yeah. and she was working with a friend there was a river yes. and as the friend tried to cross the river the friend was swept by the waters yes. and she never saw a friend yes. so a, an emotion was released by that experience yes. and it's like a child was birthed into the realm of the spirit yeah. so every time she gets to sleep she sing water she sing water she sing river she sing seas she sing oceans around you why because part of her yes. is connected in the realm of the spirit is connected to water Amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Yes. So that's why you have some types of dreams that continue to repeat. They are connected to the emotions that you discharged in the realm of the spirit. Amen. I don't know if you get what I'm saying here. Amen. So if you want to change the quality of your dream when it comes to dream production, Amen. you have to work on the soul. Amen. You have to work on the soul. Because these are, I call them links, soul links. Your soul, your soul is like a cable yeah. that has got multi places to where you can put. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes. So there, you, you are connected in the realm of the spirit. You might be working as one person, but you are connected to many things in the realm of the spirit. Mm-hmm. That is why when you are dreaming, you see yourself going to Nigeria. You see yourself going to America. You see yourself going to China. So that what is going to China is your soul. Part of your soul is traveling to those places. Mm-hmm. But everywhere you go, you leave a deposit. Mm-hmm. Are you understanding what I'm saying? You know, I know as you're looking at this, as you're looking at this studio right now where I am, do you know that in this studio, there are parts of, of souls that are not here? Yes. You might be seeing me alone, but the one who made this board, part of his soul is still there. <laughs> so people, wherever we are we are carrying the souls of men the deposits that you might not know sometimes a dream that you are having is not your dream but you are having someone's dream by the reason of a deposit and a discharge which was released towards you men are spirits, men are souls every time you meet a person there is an exchange, a transfer in the spirit so if you are meeting a person with bad energy, with an evil spirit if you are not spiritually strong there is an exchange that takes place if you are not careful, you go and sleep you begin to say an evil spirit in your dream no, it's not your dream it's a connection of a soul. Yes. 